King Charles and Princess Catherine have not disclosed the specifics of their cancer diagnoses, leading to speculation among experts about the severity of the monarch's health decline. Observers have noted a gradual deterioration in King Charles's health, despite his scheduled attendance at an Easter Sunday service in Windsor. Concerns voiced by a royal insider suggest that the monarch's cancer might be more serious than initially assumed. Grant Harold, a former royal butler, echoed these sentiments, expressing a feeling that something concerning was afoot regarding King Charles's health, though hoping his intuition proved wrong. Reports from sources such as In Touch Weekly depict a graver picture, painting King Charles as significantly more unwell than officially acknowledged, grappling with a debilitating illness. Despite scaling back public engagements due to his cancer diagnosis, the monarch has made intermittent appearances during his treatment regimen. Conversely, Princess Catherine has withdrawn entirely from public life following her cancer diagnosis and subsequent treatment. Royal commentator Lady Colin Campbell has shed light on the silver lining for Princess Catherine, emphasizing the early detection of her cancer and the proactive measures being taken. Addressing Prince William's position amidst these familial health crises, Lady Colin acknowledges the challenges but suggests a cautious optimism, noting that while the news isn't ideal, it could have been far worse. The unfolding health saga of the royal family underscores the fragility of life even in the most exalted circles. Yet, amidst the uncertainties and struggles, there are glimpses of hope and resilience, particularly in the proactive approach taken by Princess Catherine and the supportive network surrounding the royals during this trying time. As the world watches with bated breath, the royal family's battle against cancer serves as a poignant reminder of the universality of human frailty and the power of hope in the face of adversity.